Councillor Holly Cairns, you were um, contacted by the West Cork Women Against Violence on a very specific issue and you raised it at the meeting here this morning. Can you give us a synopsis, please? Yeah, so the rise in homelessness has had a knock-on effect in loads of ways. One of them is one that the West Cork Women Against Domestic Violence spoke to me about. So in the past, when you present as homeless in West Cork, you would go to your community welfare officer and they would organise emergency accommodation for that evening. Now, because it was never really the responsibility of the community welfare officer, it's fallen on the local authorities who are responsible for housing. But this only happened on the 1st of August, so the knock-on effects of that are only becoming apparent now. And for example, if you're a victim of domestic violence and you've had to leave your family home, you can't necessarily get to Clonakilty. There's loads of other situations that it would affect as well. So the service is based essentially in Clonakilty. Everybody has to go to Clon now. And for example, we don't have a bus service from Bantry to Clonakilty, from Castletown Bear and from all the, the towns and villages around there. So not only that, not only do you have to travel, you also have to then um, sort of provide information and perhaps proof about being homeless and stuff like that, which again isn't always possible depending on the situation and I suppose court county council aren't necessarily qualified to deal with sensitive situations like this and I think as the problems increase with homelessness we also need to increase resources for that and we need to provide perhaps an outreach service for people in situations like this or a homeless action team where there's a multidisciplinary team including social workers to deal with specific situations. And what was decided at the council meeting here this morning? So this morning we decided to, uh, the, the municipal district agreed that this was a problem and we would uh, request information from, the, from housing on this and how would they uh, take from here. I'm confident that housing would understand that West Cork is perhaps unique in that we don't have transport from all areas and that the changes really will put barriers in place to people in a really difficult situation. So this essentially is the first step in raising it at a full council meeting? Yeah. Okay, thank you.